This tutorial uses P5.js to create a pointillist filter. So pointillism is a painting technique that essentially uses small and single colored dots to form a cohesive image. So let's jump to our P5 editor. Let's create a global variable called capture. And next we'll do capture dot capture equals to create capture video. And I'm going to here say capture dot hide, which hides the second feed that automatically pops up. So usually the next step to take here is to create an image that would then draw the capture onto our canvas. But in this case, um, we are not going to use image. We're going to use something else called load pixels. So I'm going to delete this line and write load pixels. Usually when you load the function load pixels, it's going to load directly what's on your canvas into draw. And you can then manipulate those pixels however way you want. But in this case, we have to specify that we're loading the pixels from the webcam, from the capture. So in front of load pixels, we have to write capture dot load pixels. Great. So, so now um, in order to get a pixel from our, our webcam image, we can use something called get. So I would write let C equals capture dot get and something goes inside this parenthesis. In this case, we're going to put the X and Y of the very pixel we want to get. Okay, so what if I just make up a random number and say 50, 50. Um, essentially, this is saying, hey, um, go get that pixel add 50, 50 on the X and Y axis of the capture feed. So once we get the pixel, we have to draw it out somehow. But maybe first, um, let's try to print C. And just to see, just to make sure that it's actually grabbing it. So if I hit play, we're going to see inside the console that it's repetitively like grabbing a single pixel. And, and there's four different parameters, two, four different values inside of this array um, inside the pixel. So, so each of these value represents R, G, B, and A, um, which stands for red, green, blue, and alpha channel. So now we know that with every single pixel um, that you can grab from an image, the information that contains inside the pixel is essentially four different channels of color values. So this is useful. Um, now, the next thing we can do is to, to print the pixel on the screen somehow. So what if we do fail, and we can just put C in there because um, obviously C holds an entire array of RGBA, and that totally suits the syntax of fail. And under that, we can say ellipse, and we can say 50, 50, and make the dot 10 by 10 pixel. I'm going to hit play. So, so what you see on the screen now um, is this single dot <laughs> picked from capture at 50, 50. And, and essentially, we, we, got, we got a pixel of the sky. And, and that is being reprinted onto the screen itself. So what we can do next is to 
create a program that is going to randomly pick different pixel from different position continuously and, and draw those dots continuously back to the canvas. So I'm going to reinvent this basic example a little bit and I'm going to write let x1 equals random and usually, usually we can put width here, but in this case, since I'm specifying the width of the webcam, I'm going to say capture dot width. And let y1 is going to be random capture dot height. And let's see here um, for the, the x and y position, the capture is going to get, we're going to put x1, y1 and same goes to the ellipse we're going to have it grab pixel from a random x1 and y1 position and and draw it back onto the canvas so if i hit play here you'll see that well like every frame it's drawing a new ellipse and it's representing all the different colors um, that it has so, so if I if I take off the background here and hit play, we'll see like we're we're one step closer, right? We're like the, the each of the pixel is we're starting get, to get to that like pointless effect. Each of the pixel is rendered into an individual single color dot. So the next thing we can do to refine this sketch a little further um, is to maybe draw the ellipses um, of the single color dot on a different layer so that we can have the background on one layer while drawing the dots and making sure that it's gonna stay on the screen on a second layer. And to do that, we can use something called create graphics. So under capture, we can create a new variable, let's CG. And in setup, we can say CG equals create graphics. And inside of draw, I'm going to bring my background back in and I'm going to say, hey, only put the ellipse on the CG layer. And also the fail really only applies to the CG layer. So I'm going to hit play here and my screen just gone completely empty because we forgot one thing. And that one thing is that when you create a new, like create graphic layer, you have to draw it out using the image function. So I'm gonna say image CG zero zero with height. I'm gonna hit play. Awesome. And the very last step, um, this is optional in many cases. Um, but it's safe to add this. So after, at the, at the very end of your code, you can add capture dot update pixels. And this just makes sure that, that your, your, your pixels will be constantly updated and, and that the pixel doesn't get dropped. You can most of the time get away without even adding this line, but it's a good idea to have it. Um, it's, a, it's a kind of like, safe proof that you can add into your program. Now you can relax, sit back, and enjoy this pointless style program that you have just created. Thanks, and see you soon.